Benizens, welcome back to my channel. And this time, we will be talking about the qualifications and instructions as well as the requirements if you are planning actually to apply for NHA housing loan. So first, let's go to instruction and qualifications. Number one, applicants must be a regular government employee or an overseas Filipino workers. So yun ngayon sinasabi natin at least ngayon tayo mga OFW are qualified na or eligible na pwede na tayo mag-apply sa NHA housing loan kasi before it was just government employee or uniform personnel ang pwede makapag-apply. So tulad ng sinasabi ko sa last vlog medyo mas maganda tong community na to dahil alam mo yung mga kapitbahay mo. <laughs> diba? So number two, must have an updated payment of account if already an awardee of NHA. So if so happen na ikaw ay awardee na before ng NHA housing, so at least ang requirements ng NHA ay you are updated sa iyong mga bayad. So walang problema kung mag-avail ka nito. Number three, he or she must not be more than 65 years of age at the date of application and not more than 70 years old at the time of maturity of the housing loan. So these requirements actually is just the same with pag-ibig. So kung mag-apply ka, dapat hindi ka lalagpas ng 65 years old at hindi dapat lalagpas ng ikaw ay magiging 70 years old nang mag-expire or mag-mature na ang iyong loan. So yun yung pangatlong requirements ni NHA. Number four, if required government employee, he or she may avail the housing benefit within one year from date of retirement and shall pay an outright cash. So itong number four ay kung ikaw ay isang government employee. So i-leave na lang natin yan dahil for government employee and we are actually concerned more sa OFW. Number five, if you are an eligible or qualified, you may fill up the application form here using the website or download the application to purchase house and lot form. You may also download the other requirements from the list provided below. So actually guys, I also put the link on the description below so that you can directly go sa link na yun and you can fill out if you feel like you are interested to apply for this housing loan. So number six, based on the availability of the project listed on this website, choose your preferred housing projects. Click JIP project to check out available housing project. So this is the content I published recently wherein I show you the available locations for Luzon as well as Visayas and Mindanao. So if you haven't watched that video, you can go also to the description below. So I also put the link for that video so that you can watch as well. So number seven, for the mode of payment, the applicant may opt to pay through end user financing, MTO, pag-ibig or cash sale. For end user financing or pag-ibig, kindly fill out NHA forms, pag-ibig forms and all requirements stated in the checklist of requirements. For cash sale, staggered cash, in-house financing or installment payment, kindly fill out NHA forms and all requirements stated on the checklist of requirements. So there will be forms that you need to fill out if you are interested into like end user, kung gusto mong ipag-ibig siya. And then there will be also forms na i-fill out mo. So I will discuss with you itong sa NHA. If cash sale siya, so outright cash, bilhin mo kaagad siya, bayaran mo kaagad. And then the other one is staggered cash. So itong staggered cash is bibigyan ka ni NHA ng grace period for within one year, wala po yung interest na i-charge ni NHA doon sa amount ng house mo. But you have to make sure na dapat ma-fully paid mo siya in the span of one year. So that one year, walang charges, walang additional interest rate, pero dapat ma-fully paid mo siya within a year. So that's the staggered cash. Then the other one is in-house financing. So if ever na, if you experience some problem or trouble, sa pag-ibig, then you still have the chance to avail this NHA housing loan through the in-house financing. So you can directly have your loan sa NHA. So number eight, make sure your application form is notarized prior to the submission of documentary requirements. So here we go. Dapat naka-notarize po yung mga documents new the time na you will submit those documents in each day. Number nine, application forms and requirements may be submitted to the implementing regional district office at your chosen housing project or on any NHA office near your present location. So mag-submit kayo sa inyong mga forms or yung mga requirements niyo sa, sa mga regional office ng NHA or mga NHA offices na malapit sa lugar ninyo. 
So here we go. Let's have now the requirements for this housing loan application. So unang una, meron tayong mga documents na isubmit sa NHA. So what are those documents? Number one is, of course, the application form. If you are an OFW, magsubmit lang po tayo ng OEC or yung ating POEA contract. So yun yung ating gagamitin for this requirement. Then, proof of income. So actually, ang ating contract ay nag-contain na siya ng proof of income dahil nandun na rin yung ating mga sahod doon. Pero if you can provide separate document for that, then much better. Then next is certificate of active service. So this is actually applicable for uniform personnel. Then next is proof of identity, civil status. So kung single birth certificate, any of the two government issued ID. And if married, so marriage certificate, kung legally separated, affidavit of separation in fact, then the other two government issued ID. So if so happened that you decide that it would be at the end user, so through pag EB. So here are the requirements also. Number one, you have to accomplish the form. And next is a proof of income. And sa ating mga FW, hindi na siya masyadong issue. Meron na tayo niyan. Valid ID with signature. Okay, so those are the requirements under pag-ibig. So, siguro i-require na lang kayo ng mga additional documents if ever na talagang mag-push through na yung loan nyo. So, from seller or borrower, TCT, tax declaration, contract to sell, vicinity map or the sketch map. So, they may be asking for additional requirement. Ito po ay ang health insurance. So, i-provide nyo na lang kung talagang nangangailangan sila ng additional requirements, which is the health insurance. So ito naman yung mga requirements prior sa pag-release ng loan. TCT, security documents, tax declaration land, tax declaration, real estate tax receipts, certificate of acceptance, occupancy permit, transfer tax receipt, deduct loan amortization. So those are the qualifications and instructions as well as the requirements if you are planning to apply for NHA housing loan. So just leave your comments below kung ano yung mga hindi nyo masyadong naintindihan or yung mga additional requirements na meron kayong mga clarifications so that I can also help you out kung paano natin sila ma-accomplish. So I hope that you learned something out from this video. If you do, allow me to ask a favor from you to subscribe to my channel, itap mo na yung notifications bell para ma-update ka every time na meron tayong bagong upload just like this video. So, that's it for this episode. Have a great day and God bless po. Bye! Watch me through the